My goal in today's video is to make you better at Back for Blood Nightmare Mode, and to make it so that you don't need to have a full team to have success in Nightmare Mode. And the way we're going to do that is I'm just going to go into the game, and I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking, I'm going to tell you what I'm paying attention to, and I'm going to tell you what I've learned over doing this a lot. Okay? So right away, I'm just going to go and click Mom. The reason why I'm taking Mom, especially in a solo queue situation, is because Mom gives the whole team an extra life. You don't have extra lives in Nightmare Mode unless you bring them. Mom brings one, or you can bring some in on a card. But we're going to take Mom, because she'll help the whole team out. In terms of your deck, this is not a deck building video. There's a lot of different strategies that you can put into building your deck and doing it with your team. The deck I currently have is made for explosives, so everything I ever try to explode is going to die in one hit. <laughs> so I like that for Nightmare Mode, because a lot of mutations all spawn in at the same time. So I'm running explosive damage, and then what I'm also going to pick is movement speed. Reason why is because you need to be able to run. Kiting is a really big deal in this game. I, it's such a big deal in this game. A lot of times I feel like people get superhero syndrome where they think they can just tank everything and deal with whatever they want. Nightmare mode is very, very, very difficult. It's not hard mode. It is almost impossible mode, okay? <laughs> to really put that into perspective, point... 1% of players have completed Act 1 of Nightmare Mode. And that's rounding up. It's like point zero 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 one. <laughs> so, it's a very difficult game mode. And if you're trying it, don't be discouraged if you're getting your butt stomped. Because it's hard. Now, I'm doing this with bots. And I'm doing it on a lower difficulty. So that I can go through step by step at a learner's pace. Rather than having to keep up with the pace of Nightmare. If you want to see me upload videos as to when I'm actually playing Nightmare, I could do that. Let me know in the comments down below. But right away, when I play Mom here, I have the Ranch Rifle and I have the Belgian. I like to keep the Ranch Rifle on Mom, or if I'm going to really synergize with my team, maybe I'll give it to Jim. But I really like to have the Ranch Rifle because it is a one-hitter quitter on most no zombies, especially if you hit him in the head. The M4, not well. necessarily. In terms of what to buy, you're going to start with 250 credits in Nightmare Mode. <laughs> So you're not going to have a lot. So what you can do is you can go into your inventory here and drop 100. So a teammate can go ahead and pick that up and then potentially go and buy a toolkit because they're usually 350. You want to have toolkits. They help you a lot <laughs> for a lot of different reasons. Two toolkits is what you would need to clear everything out in this map. But if you just have one, that'll be okay. And you can have a toolkit by either, again, dropping 100 for your teammate to buy a toolkit or by having Carly because she spawns with a toolkit. Okay. Personally, I also like to have a frag grenade because those special zombies, they're tough to deal with and you want to be able to take them out. So let's just go up here right away. And honestly, as soon as this part right here, I see people making mistakes. One of the mistakes that I see in nightmare mode is people don't group up. Damn, One person will charge through right away thinking they own the place <laughs> and they get destroyed. <laughs> so wait for your team. Okay. And then right away when you come in here, let's notice go. you have doors. And I can do one of these for each level, by the way. This is 1-1. One, one. There's things to pay attention to on each one of these levels. If you'd like me to go into detail on each one of them, let me know. And I'll even turn on the eye tracker here so you can see what it is I'm paying attention to. So right away, you see three doors here. What I would do is I would have had these guys cleared out right away. And then you hold to the door, right? Because you want to make sure to see anything's popping through these doors. You see these guys coming through here? Well, make sure you clear them. A lot of times what people will do is they will just run up like this and then come into this door and then they get hit in the back from here and here. See how there's zombies coming through? And while they're paying attention over here, something comes up from the stairs. So make sure you clear each doorway first. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck up on and hit in the back. The zombies hit really, really hard in nightmare mode. So make sure you clear your rooms. Make over sure there's here. nothing else going on. Now, right away on the stairway here, I see people make a big mistake. Over the roof. It's, oh, let's deal with him. By the way, punching zombies is a really good way to stun them, especially the specials if they get too close. But something I see people make a mistake with right away is they just charge right up the stairs. Don't do that. This is a gift right here. Use it. Come right up into here and then walk around. Because this gives you a few opportunities. A lot of times this door is not does not already have a hole in it. So what you can do is you can punch a hole in it and then look through like this. So that you can see what's on the other side. Just make sure doors are not <laughs> marked with a security alarm. If they do have a security alarm on them... Well, yeah, you know what? We'll talk about that a little bit later because I, I bet we'll get an opportunity for that later. But I hear something, so let's go ahead and take it out. There we go. Now, this is going to be a team effort. You got to be paying attention. These things have much more health and higher difficulties, but usually you just want to focus those specials down right away. But now, let's move forward here and keep looking for sleepers. You'll hear the snarling of a sleeper. Oh. Yeah, by the way, they can come down from underneath us. If you see an exploder, 
One of the nice things about having this area over here is you get to really move around on them, right? Whereas, if you're stuck in right here, where are you going to run? You're either going to, like, get pushed into more zombies, or you're going to get stuck in here, and you're going to get pinned. So, being able to move around in this area and jump around things is very useful. Okay? Now, let's keep moving forward here and see what we got. We actually have a zombie right here punching through this. Let's just take these guys out. And immediately, in nightmare mode, there's almost always a sleeper right over there. Yeah, let's just take these out. There's almost always a sleeper right in this corner. Whenever you go through a doorway... Make sure you are checking around. I always, like, go like that and just see if there's anything right there. Because there's usually a sleeper right here. But, I should be clear. Sometimes there's sleepers right here. Or right here. Right away when you start. So be listening for that really deep snarling sound. Because that's an indicator of a sleeper. Oh, we got a tall boy here. So what I can do with this is I can be like... And then he's dead. By the way, you don't get free heals in nightmare mode. But... Something to know about these. They will heal trauma damage. So you see like that little permanent health loss that I have? It'll heal that. Also, if you go down, it'll restore one of your extra lives. So that could be a really nice thing to keep in mind when you're paying attention to these things. If I had lost a life, I would have it restored. Ready. Ready? Very, very useful. Okay? Well, let's keep moving here. And again, very over slow here. through this. Like, I don't think sleepers usually spawn over here, but, you know, check your corners. Check your corners. Way too often I see people... I call it superhero syndrome where they're like, hi, and they just run in thinking they own the place. And you will always get destroyed if you do that. You need to slow down a little bit. There's a time to run, but it's not all the time. Okay? So, and one thing that is common in Nightmare Mode is a lot of things will start spawning right through here. A lot of specials all at the same time. So, try to take things out. If things get a little too overwhelming, never be afraid to back up. So let's see if I can, like, piss this guy off. So, like, oh, God, there's a tall boy. Sometimes people go, hi. No, you got to, like, back up. And then, like, kite a little bit. Or just, like, learn the map a little bit and learn where you can back up. Because if you just stand still and face tank, you're in trouble. Like, something you can do is wrap around over here. And then shoot like that. You can have one person bait it out a little bit. Because a lot of things like the spawn right here. Have one person bait it out a little bit. And then pay attention and nail these things. That being said, you can't just face forward all the time. Okay? So... You'll have zombies coming from the front, but people really like to spawn behind you, too. If there's a door with a security alarm on it, shoot around it. And then if there's zombies in there, that'll alert them, and then they'll start punching down the door. Because if a security alarm door gets punched by a zombie, it loses its alarm. Now, this one didn't have any zombies in it, so nothing that. came out. But you'll probably get to see that a little bit later. You know, defib, sure. Med, sure. And then, yeah, this is actually a really good time to talk about this. So... With the health. If I try to heal like this, this it takes a while. Where if I have pain meds on, I could be like, I've worse wounds making breakfast. And then you drop them very quickly. Or you put them on you very quickly. Something else to keep in mind is if you want to drop items, if you click like this, you'll drop you'll them separately. Where if you click and drag, you'll drop you them as a stack. These. A lot of times there'll be a sleeper right here. Um, also, there'll be one right here sometimes. Or I, no, maybe not right there. Um, and maybe right here. Make sure you just keep checking for everything constantly. Sleepers like to spawn right here. Um, they like to spawn right up in there. See how they spawn right behind us? That's why you gotta look behind you. And then utilize any area that you can climb like this. This is a really big deal. Because this gives you the ability to jump around on zombies. Because they can't really jump. They can climb, but they can't jump. So use that to your advantage. Jump around when you can and utilize your area like a jungle gym, which is part of the reason why we like our move speed so much. Now, in terms of what we need to do with the bridge, there's a couple of things you can do with the bridge. A lot of people, what they'll do is they'll just jump up here and be like, you can't do that. And you definitely can't stand right on it. Now, there's a couple of things we can do. One of which is you can use a toolkit on the bridge. If you use a toolkit on the bridge, you are not going to have to deal with the horde. I want to deal with the horde so I can show you how to deal with the horde. But you can totally toolkit the bridge and not have to deal with it. But now, in terms of other things we can do to deal with it, I'm going to pick up another grenade. But then start utilizing your environment here. Propane tanks will one-hit almost anything. Well, Even tall boys. Bright ideas? So what I like to do for the bridge here, in order to save a toolkit, is I like to come over to this area and get this ready. Because what's going to happen is once we call the bridge, they will funnel. And they'll funnel right through this doorway. And there's not a lot of opportunities in this game where you can really funnel zombies <laughs> very easily. A lot of times they like to spread. The AI likes to spread out, so you can't just line them up like you could in the old Call of Duty zombies. But that area kind of forces them to be 
collapsed in on each other. So let's just go ahead and do it. And since they're bots, they'll follow me. So let's go, 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 go. Typically your whole team would be back here already, but we don't have that luxury. So then you get back here and you just get ready to line them up. You make sure you crouch a lot too. Crouching is a really big deal in this. If you're just standing in front of your teammates and doing this the whole time, they're going to shoot you. So make sure you crouch, especially if you're in the front of the group here. Makes it much easier to take everything out. Now there's a tall boy coming, right? So that's where this gets really useful. So if he gets, I mean, they might just kill him anyway, because it's super true. But you can go ahead and do that and take him out. That's also where the gas would have been really nice, because then they all would have been taken out by the, by the flames. Also, even though zombies are coming here, don't forget that sometimes the hawkers come in here and they'll, they'll stand right here. They'll hang up on the wall. So make sure you focus them down, because if they start spitting at people, that'll really take your team out. Um, in terms of sleepers, there's almost always one over here. Um, they like to spawn over here as well. So always be taking it slow here, you know, like over there. Um, and then, you know, peek around here. A lot of times a propane tank will sit up around in here. Yeah, there it is. Use that. And then bring these things with you, man. These propane tanks will save your dang life. So just keep looking around. A lot of times there'll be something over here. Yeah. yeah. So there's not really a lot of sleepers here on, on this lower difficulty. But what we can do is we can just keep moving forward. A lot of times, sleepers will spawn right here. I think a lot of people are familiar with that one. Um, and just keep looking for doors. You see how these guys are punching through here? It's because we've made noise. So, yeah. After they punch it once, you can open it and then just come in. You don't have to sit there and worry about the alarm anymore after they punch it once. Um, I hear something. By the way, if you hear something, mark it. Mark things in nightmare mode. Let people Something's know about opportunities. There. Hey, the door's over here. Hey, this is alarmed. Like, hey, there's a sleeper over here. Hey, there's a something else. You know what I mean? Make sure you mark things a lot. Now, in the situation where I already have a suppressor on, you might not be able to make the zombies come on in, but there's a couple of different ways you can try to get them to come through this first door. So if this is alarmed and you need to get their attention, you can either shoot around this door, and I'm using my non-suppressed weapon. Another thing that can get them to come over here is this right here. You see this? I, I swear this is what this is here for. You can be like, Boop. And that might piss them off so that they come wrapping around. So you can actually hear them hitting that door over there. And what they might do is come through that door and then wrap around and then touch this door. Because sometimes both these doors are alarmed. So by, you know, shooting over here, you'll increase the chances of them becoming alerted and then wrapping around. And I bet you they're about to start punching this door here. Yeah, they're coming. There it is. Yep, there it is. And then you wouldn't have to deal with an alarmed door there. But you gotta deal with big boys. So in this situation, bye! And then I saw my propane tank, so I could have used that instead, honestly. Um, you can put up a propane tank right here. Another place I like to put it is like over here. Because then you can shoot down on them. Um, in terms of sleepers, there's sleepers that spawn in this area. A lot of times there's one right here, but there's also sometimes one up here. So pay attention to that as well. So clear some of this out here. Make sure you pay attention to birds. Bird. You can blow up birds with a grenade if they are really, really, really in the way. I don't know about propane tanks. Honestly, you can shoot the birds out too if you have somebody with a big damaging shotgun and then a couple of marksmen who can shoot the birds that try to come up after that. But yeah, we got propane tanks here, so just bring these things with you. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can either just run for your dang life and just try to clear real fast, or you can try to take it a little bit slower. A lot of times there's a sleeper right there and a sleeper right here. There's actually a propane tank that spawns right here sometimes. You can see that, the red canister. I'll take it. And again, just keep all these things in mind. Now, that big roar means there's like probably a tall boy or an exploder coming. I don't know where he is. But try to remember all your yeah, propane, propane and all that. Oh, Another thing that could be nice about anyway. this, that this propane tank carrying it with you is for this end door over here. Because sometimes, in fact, oftentimes, what you'll notice when you play with solo queue is it does not end very well because people just end up having to run for their lives. So in that scenario, there's a couple of things you can do about that. <laughs> so if you end up having to run for your life here, you know, try to pay attention for birds and sleepers. But one thing that kind of gets in your way is this door will be locked very often. Yeah, they're fine. So there's a couple of ways to get through this door quickly. A couple of things to know about this whole area. One, you can jump over to this and not hit the ground. So if you do that, you can use that as a way to like take advantage of the fact that zombies don't climb anywhere near as fast as you do or they can't jump and vault. So you can just like keep doing that to keep going back and forth. I swear that's what this is here for. But now this door. You can count on this door being locked in nightmare mode. All the time. All the time it's going to be locked. And it might even have an alarm on it. So if that's the case, what you want to I'll do is have an explosive to charge through the door. 
So you can use the propane tank to throw and then blow it up right away so you don't have to get stuck on the door. Or if you are coming up to the door, just like start shooting it as you are trying to get close. Because if you get stuck on that door and then things come up behind you, you're pretty much dead. So I like to have a grenade ready or I like to bring propane with me or I like to start shooting it. And then you get close to that door, you do this and then you're like, let's go. And you come right through it. Another thing to keep in mind is, again, the sleepers. There will be sleepers over here. There'll be sleepers right here. There'll be sleepers right there. Make sure you watch for them as you try to get through. And if you're really just trying to win here, don't even worry about these extra side areas. Just go right through and then get into the safe room and then you're good to go. And then shut the door. So now I'm just going to go through an actual nightmare run on solo real quick, just so we can kind of get an idea of what we need to be doing. Because I know I can sit here and talk like, this is what you got to do, this is what you got to do. But you'll be like, oh yeah, nice try three point. It's not even nightmare mode. Don't worry about <laughs> me. Worry about so yourself. I'm going to go try to showcase what it actually looks like when you're doing it by yourself. So since I'm playing by myself, I have to think a little bit differently about it, honestly. Honestly, I probably want to play Hoffman. But... I'm going to try and get a few grenades in here. Okay, what do we have? We have tattlers. Uh, okay, but I'm pretty sure we can blow these up right away. This is really... These are a lot easier to handle in a team setting because you can team fire them. I can't do that by myself with bots. We have burning ridden. This actually isn't that bad in corruption cards. But let me just try to showcase, you know, how things actually will be played out here. So I am going to... Hmm. I'm going to take grenade pouch here, I think. This one does seem tempting, but I'm going to take grenade pouch here. <laughs> Honestly, what I should have done is plus two inventory <laughs> if I was going to play this by myself. Okay, so in terms of what I can do, I have a thousand coins here. So I'm just going to go and stock up on everything because I'm doing solo and that's going to be hard. <laughs> so I'll make sure I got ammo here and I'm just going to be good to go. Because these guys ain't going to help right. me a whole lot. Collect your breath, collect um, yourself. Then let's get yeah. out of here. Toots. Well, let's just try to go through it. So let's talk about these fundamentals we have here, right? So clear everything out right away. And we'll start talking about sleepers right away, so just make sure everything's clear. And again, I'm not going to have the help of actual people. So I got to deal with that. But we're just making sure we kind of clear all this stuff out right away. Honestly, shooting like that can bait a lot of these guys out right away to kind of help you out. Yeah, you see how they start coming through. Um, sleepers can spawn in over here, by the way. So keep that in mind. They can jump you immediately. I like to open the door just in case they keep respawning, because sometimes creatures will respawn. If you, uh... Oh, Lord. Tattler's already here. Creatures will respawn if you just never hey, close. Oh, wait. Wait, what are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? Wait, they can do the snitchers for me? Oh, my God. They can do the snitchers for me? <laughs> nice. But, I mean, that's fine, though, because you could typically team fire them anyway. Like, if we're if we are a real team here, that, that would have ended the same way. So, you can laugh all you want about that one still. Yeah, keep looking for sleepers. They can totally spawn up in this stuff. You could just gotta listen for them. Oh my god, another grenade. I'm gonna remember that grenade. Okay, what do we got in here? Best chance we got is trying to go up and over the roof. So we got, yeah, see that they'll do that for you a lot of the time. Shotgun here. There's our spitty boy. Reloading. Nice part about bots is they actually have good aim. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen in, uh, with real players. Okay, keep looking around here. So I can hear a sleeper over here. This one. There we go. And then there might be some over here that we can just straight up see. No? Yeah, let's clear these guys out real quick. Sleeper? Might be a sleeper over here. Nope. LMG. Ooh, LMGs are nice. But I like the ranch rifle right now because I know I'm going to one-hit them. <laughs> and just a little more ammo efficient. Here. Sleeper right here. Big boys over here. Over there. Yeah. Oh, sleeper. Yep. Okay, we gotta back up. The snitch is gonna start coming around here soon. There might be stuff coming up behind us here too. Bruiser. Okay, ready. 
they come up behind you. Told you. Honestly, I'm just going to go ahead and heal. Would I heal in a regular scenario? Probably not, because I'd want to save my cop. Oh, God. I'm save my copper. Now, there was that grenade back here, wasn't there? There's this here, but I know there's a grenade around here, and I'm going to go pick it up. Because... Like, heck, if I'm not going to utilize another grenade if I got it. Oh, Grenade, where are you? Yeah, honestly, the robots are really, really good at taking out the the zombies for me. It's really nice. You don't really get that kind of coordination out of a... Out of random sometimes. Okay, well, I don't know where that grenade went, actually. You think they picked it up? Can they pick up grenades? Oh, it was down here. There it is. Okay, let's go. Here. Could be a better gun in here. Use speed on Carly is really nice in Nightmare as well. Nah, eh, not worth it. I hear a hawker or a stinger, one of the two. Oh, God, I thought that was the spitter. That's why I started shooting. Back up. Yeah, utilize your surroundings here if you can. Your stuff coming up behind us. I also hear another big boy. A lot. They like to throw like a whole army of specials up here. Oh god. There we go. Keep looking for sleepers. Up here? No. Stinger. Okay. Yeah, see how they jump right up there? Told you. All right, what do we got in here? Sleepers over here. No. Okay. So... A lot of times this is a security door as well, and sometimes you just have to eat that one. Oh, there's that sleeper. Cover me. Reloading. And also the stinger, right? Here we go. I don't got to worry about friendly fire. Okay. So now, what I mentioned earlier is you got to, like, that judge lie. your resources, right? This like, I like good. to not have to use my toolkit in most scenarios. Come on. But if I'm with bots, I am going to try to not use my toolkit. Or I'm going to try to clear the bridge without I'll having to take the horde is what I meant. So I'm going to use my toolkit. So what you can do is clear these guys out right away. Just to kind of make your life a little bit easier, like, up in this area. When you do go down. There's almost always sleepers down in here. I don't know if you can see them quite yet, but so I'm gonna use my toolkit. To I'm gonna bring this with me. Honestly, it might be a good idea to keep it right here as well, because creatures like to come down. What? Because creatures like to come down. To here. Apparently, they will shoot the propane tanks now. There. And then just keep her moving. Surprised there's no sleeper in here. Honestly. I don't know if Charred Ridden will die to fire. You wouldn't think they would, but. Here. Let me help. Thanks, brother. Hopefully they'll watch my back. Need to take care of this. There's a sleeper. Sleepers will jump like I I could have got jumped right there by that sleeper, by the way. They'll jump diagonally. They're crazy. All right, check for sleepers over here. Oh, there's a thing right here to blow things up if you need it. All right, nothing. I hear a stinger. I think they see it, yep. I'm surprised there's not a snitch over here to kind of combo that up on us. Sometimes that's how you really get caught, is like a snitch will be on birds, or it'll be like a special zombie will jump onto the snitch. Sleeper. Again, you just gotta be looking around. You gotta be like super paranoid. Act like it's your actual grenade. your actual life. Oh my god, a grenade. That's clutch. Alarm door, but you see they're already punching it, so that's fine. 
You can hear the you can hear the sleeper over here. I'd watch that ladder if I were you. So this is the top one? No. There it is. Okay. Exploder? Uh oh. Oh god. Oh god. You see that? I could hear him coming and I was like, I don't want him exploding while we're all caught up in here. Now, a little bit of fire damage. It's fine. Honestly, one hit from a Ridden will hurt you more. And these guys are all... They're all coming up here, I think, because of the explosion, honestly. I hear another. Glad I didn't use up my propane tank there. Oh, they're dropping ammo for me. How nice. Okay, let's keep moving here. That. Take these out. There's gonna be a sleeper down here. Wow, there's not a sleeper down here. There's always always a sleeper right there and over here. Oh, there's the one over there. We have a propane tank there if you need it. I mean, we're not sure what we're doing here, right? Reloading. Reloading. Actually, whipped on that. I was gonna say we should be fine. I don't have to use my grenade quite yet. Now I could heal right here. Let me take care of this. These guys are actually doing a good job clearing. And you just keep moving. Snitch is right there. Birds, birds. There's going to be sleepers all over this. Yep, there's one right there. There's one right there. One, let's get these couple of regular zombies out of here. Honestly, there's probably a sleeper down here. Let's just clear these out. Take our time. Like, like you can totally just run right through this if you want to, but I think a lot of people are interested in the take your time approach because you don't always have teammates that are going to sprint with you. So... This is your take your time approach here. I think there's another, no, I thought that was another snitch. Now, if you take too long, more special zombies start spawning in. So you do have to keep that in mind. Are they just gonna shoot the snitch out for me? Oh, that's so kind. Thanks guys. <laughs> and again, you, you would typically team fire that anyway, so. Come on, it's just a And what I mean by team fire is you talk to your team, you're like one, two, three, boosh. And then you all blow into it. And then it doesn't have time to scream. Now we don't we don't have to clear the birds here. We can just jump around them. Just sleep her down here. Hopefully they don't alarm birds. Okay, good, they don't. Be careful here. I'm gonna try not to shoot the birds. That's another point, actually. If there's what's coming over here? Oh, you're dead. So if something, if there's like birds or something and there's a zombie coming at me, like if the zombie was right here, I'd start shooting at his legs so that I don't accidentally hit the birds. I hear a stitcher. Stinger, okay. Can't believe he just threw a Molotov. All right. Now, I think we're doing, oh, another snitch over here, okay. A lot of zombies. Feels like a lot more zombies and they move a little bit faster. Alright, so this is where you can just make a run for it, right? Now I'm going to show you that this door is going to be locked because it's always locked. See? So then that's where you want to go ahead and either shoot it down. Now this one's not alarmed, which is actually really crazy to me. But typically I would just go ahead and use a grenade to charge right through it. Because things aren't going so swimmingly. Now, also there's usually sleepers in here. Now, there's also going to be sleepers in here. Again, sleepers will alert a horde, and that will ruin your whole run. So you really want to be careful. Now, yeah, this is this is better than most runs I get on Nightmare, because people usually just run into stuff. <laughs> this is actually way easier than it typically is. <laughs> That's how you do it on Nightmare. We actually do viewer games for this game pretty often over on twitch.tv slash swingpoint. If you want to be a part of that, we'll do that live and you can play Nightmare Mode with me. Also, if you want to see me cover other levels of this game in Nightmare Mode, let me know. I can totally get those videos up for you. And if this was helpful to you, please consider subscribing or sharing with somebody who you feel like could learn a thing or two about Nightmare Mode. With that, thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. and I'll see you in the next video that we do around here.